How to sell NFTs on Soulsea for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can basically sell NFTs on Soulsea as a complete beginner. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into it. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to this website called Soulsea.io. Now this is the official website for Soulsea's. Now over here, you'll be able to buy NFTs on the Solana network. And the Solana network is its official, you know, trading platform. So it's supported by it if you have some extra solana you can go ahead and buy some nfts as well so over here as you can see at the top we have some upcoming collections over here but basically what we need to do is we need to create an account and to create an account all we have to do is just simply click on create over here or we can go ahead and connect our wallet at top or we can scroll down and over here basically at the bottom we have three options we can connect our wallet and we have to choose a supported solana wallet phantom soul flare or solet anyone we want then we can create our collection and then we can mint our nft so let's go ahead and connect our wallet so over here we have a couple of different options i'm going to go with phantom because phantom is one of the most popular one out there rather than these two so simply click on phantom and it'll take you redirect you to their website if you already have a phantom you know extension on it it'll just pop up but if you don't it'll redirect you over here and over here you have to you create a new wallet or use a recovery phrase now i already have a recovery phrase but i'm not going to go ahead and use it i'm going to go ahead and create a new wallet to show you guys how it's basically done so i'm going to go ahead and click on create new wallet and this is the recovery phrase over here we have to like copy this okay and like you know save it somewhere else and then we have to keep it safe and hidden from other eyes so that they don't you know sign into our wallet so i'm going to go ahead and copy it okay saved it now all we have to do is create a password for our you know phantom account so i'm gonna go ahead and create a password click on i agree to the terms and services and click on save now over here as you can see this is a nice little shortcut that they have if you want to access your phantom wallet or anywhere on the browser just simply click on alt shift and p and it'll open up so i'm going to click on continue and that is basically it after that they'll basically ask you to follow them on twitter or whatnot you don't have to but like it's basically done now we can go back and just simply choose phantom and click on connect and over here just simply log into your account that you have created on Soulsea with your email address and that is basically it as you can see success login is successful now we can go ahead and start minting our nfts now over here if you scroll down we can go ahead and create our collection over here or we can click on create over here at the top so i'm going to click on create and over here we'll be taken to this website and over here we'll have to you know upload a static preview we can upload an animated preview if we have one or we can upload an artwork profile if we have that then we can add the title we can add a short description something a brief description then we can choose royalties from secondary sales percentages external urls to our website or twitter profile or discord server and then we can add some tags and then we can have licenses we can choose whichever type of license we want then we can select a collection if we already have it we can add the traits then we can go ahead and click on mint nft so since i already have a static preview i'm gonna go ahead and and upload it but i don't think it falls under this category i think my nft mostly falls under the artwork file so i think i'm gonna go ahead and upload it over here as well so upload it over here and then upload it over here since this is the main file okay now that we've done that now i don't have an animated version of it but if i did i would have you know loved to add it so i'm gonna go ahead and add the title i basically call it beanie man and then we can add a short description of it as well like it's a beautiful beanie man or a very hot beanie man i'm gonna go ahead and write it's a hot beanie man and then in the description we can add some more description about the nft like such as the background how we you know got the inspiration to create it and stuff like that basically i got it from you know punk creators like nft punks i it was basically inspired by it so i just you know watched a video on how to basically create it found a layout of it and then just made it my own so i'm gonna go ahead and write so i basically wrote i was inspired by crypto punks and that's how i created it yeah i think this looks pretty nice I was inspired by CryptoPunks and that's how I created it. Yeah, that's a pretty solid description of it, my work. <laughs> and then we can add in the royalties from secondary sales. So we can write like, let's go with be generous and go at 10%. Then over here, we can add our Twitter profile. 
if we have one if we don't have one we can leave it blank it's totally up to us then we can add some tags like so it's basically like a picture right and then it's an image it's also a drawing as well so we can add that as well like drawing okay then we call it like profile picture or something like that photo photography yeah i think that's or painting yeah i think that fall under a better description of this then we can choose the license as well so we have private use we have personal public display we have public display which is non-commercial and then we have reproduction which is commercial exploitation now for private use it's basically private use we can do with it whatever we want we cannot use it commercially or we can use it as personal public display basically as a profile picture which is not commercial exploitation then we have public display as well meaning we can use it as a public display use it whatever we want but not for commercial purposes and then we can have the final option we can use it as a reproduction or you know publicated and for this one it's as you guessed it commercial exploitation so basically i think it falls under this category public display so i'm going to choose that and then we can add the color like or red or whatever like traits if you have one and then just simply click on mint nft now if we do that we need to have some amount of soul in our network so network fee is 0 0.00001 solana so if we have some solana in our you know crypto wallet we can go ahead and do that but if we don't have one as you can see i don't have one i cannot approve it but even if i did as you can see the transaction was filled now if i did have one it would have been successful and i would have you know been able to mint it so it's pretty simple all you have to do is have some solana in your cryptocurrency wallet follow these steps that i did over here and that is basically it so this is how you basically create an nft now let's go ahead and show you how you can basically create a collection so over here at the top you see you have explore you have create you have stats calendar and stuff like that what i want you guys to do is hover your mouse over on to create and underneath create you will see the option of an nft and a collection so click on collection and over here just simply enter in the name of your collection enter in a short description of the collection and another description of the collection this one make it a little bit more brief and then upload the header image upload the logo image and then upload your vertical promotion banner okay and then upload your horizontal promotion banner now if you didn't know how you can basically create these banners what you can do is come over to canva.com and once you're over here all you can do is create a header okay or you can go ahead and you know choose whichever one you want so i'm sure that uh, the resolution okay is 800 x 2000 let's see what kind of resolution we need so we need a resolution of 300 x 476 so let's see if we can create it over here at the top right corner we see custom size let's go ahead and click on it and as you can see we have width and height so what do we need 300 by 476 and now let's go ahead and create a design and over here as you can see this is how it will look like this is the vertical banner promotion now what we can do is we can upload our own media all right as you can see i've already uploaded it so i'm simply going to go ahead and paste it over here and i'm going to expand however i can as much as i can and now i'm going to put it in the center this is the center now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the background to this color so that it matches with the nft now, as you can see this is how it looks like why don't we go ahead and you know put it at the bottom and over here we can go ahead and enter in some other text elements over here in the text sections we can see we can add this one over here huge sale okay and then we can you know maybe change it up and say it like you know new project or something like that and then we can say we can have buy now or let's go ahead and change it to buy now yeah that looks pretty nice we can decrease the size of this one so that we can fit it over here uh, i think somewhere around here would look pretty good huge sale buy now like it's not one of the best but you know it works fine you know it is what it is then what we can do is just simply download it like i just created this to show you guys how you can basically do it but i'm sure your banner will look much better so just simply download the banner and then just simply you know save it onto your device i'm gonna go ahead and paste it in pictures and then once you've done it you let's go over to our soul c account and over here just upload the vertical banner this one was it let's go ahead and paste it as you can see this one it was done now we can go ahead and upload the horizontal banner 
and uh, for this one it'll be just the same you know the process is exactly the same so that you can go ahead and upload the banner as well i'm gonna go ahead and create one and once you have you know added all of these things and you can go ahead and add some tags you know collection symbol you can go ahead and add a symbol for your collection and then you can add in the supply the minting data the collection nft initial price and all the other details that they ask for basically you know share your socials and once you've done that just simply click on create your nft and you can go ahead and start adding your nfts within that collection well i uploaded all of the other data that it required me to do but there was an error that happened so i guess i can't continue but what it basically means that once your connection is completed you can go into your collection and there will be an add item option all you have to do is just click on it and then you repeat the process as i said in the earlier video so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye